Hey, what's up guys? Got a video for you today from a knife that just came in. And uh, I'm going to tell you, I've been waiting um, for a year for this to come in and I'll talk about it in a second. And I've actually cheated. I uh, <laughs> I had to chase the mail lady around the neighborhood because I, I'd seen online that, that they had already come and uh, left me a note that they tried to deliver it and there was no freaking way I was not gonna get this today. So I chased her around the neighborhood, got it in my hand and couldn't help myself because normally I like to unbox on uh, the camera, but I couldn't wait. It was, um, it, I just, this is everything I've ever wanted in any knife. So we're gonna talk about it. So let me give you a little story behind it. Um, everybody knows I went to Blade, won a ton of stuff, got super, super lucky. Even some people thought that, and it was, yeah, I don't, I don't blame them, but that there wasn't as much luck in a lottery as they thought there was. Maybe I knew some people and snuck my name in. It was my first Blade show. I didn't know a single maker. There was really no way for any of that to happen. I mean, I'm glad it's not that way, but I wouldn't have hated it if it wasn't for me. It would suck for everybody else. But, uh... Lotteries are lotteries. You win, you put your name on the thing, they use a random uh, app on their phones, they show everybody, there's usually people standing all around anyway. So there's really no way to screw that up. But anyway, so I won a Walter Randolph uh, Typhon with the copper bolsters and the green micarta scales. Awesome knife, so stoked to have it. Walter Randolph is my favorite maker. No offense to any other makers, because I love a lot of them, but Walter Randolph's knives are my favorite. So anyway, get it home, and I love the knife, but it really wasn't my style. As I said on my last video, there were six knives he had that he was lottery, you know, putting through the lottery, and it's the only one of those six I probably would have not picked on my own. Like all the other ones, regular, full tie, little Timascus collar around the pivot, you know, little accents here and there. I would have taken any of those, and there was one I wanted that was carbon fiber scales with a uh, Timascus bolster, and it was like I tried to trade the guy, he wouldn't trade me, so forth and so on. So anyway... Long story short, um, I reached out and put on one of the forums that I was looking to trade my WR for another WR. I didn't want anything else, but if I was not, if I wasn't going to be able to find a WR, I wanted to get either a Rexford or a Marsh, maybe a Birch. But here's the reason: it wasn't because I really wanted them, even though they're awesome knives. I wanted my WR. That's what I wanted. I wanted a WR Bladeworks knife. And once I had that, then I'd love to have a Marsh. I would love to have a, a Rexford and I'd love to have a Birch. I just want my WR first. It's my, you know, I wanted at the show. I didn't want to use it to trade for something else that wasn't a Walter Randolph knife. I wanted my WR. So a guy reached out to me and said, hey, I've got a knife um, that I'd be willing to trade for that Walter Randolph. And it was that uh, Jeremy Marsh Mini Vanquish with full time Damascus, unbelievably gorgeous knife. The Damascus blade, the fit and finish was ridiculous. It flipped like a monster. It was a just teeny bit too small for me. It was probably a three and an eighth inch blade. You know, just it was great though. I mean, it actually felt better in my hand than I thought it would, uh, based on the size of what I knew it was going to be. However, it is an extremely sought after knife. So here's the problem I was having. No one would trade their Walter Randolphs. They would not get rid of them. Every time I reached out to somebody and said, hey, I've got one, would you like to trade? No, I won't get rid of any of mine, but I'd love to buy yours. So that's what I got. Well, in the game of custom knives, really high-end high -end collectors, they don't care about money. It's not about the money for them. It's about getting something they can't get on their own. You know, so giving them six grand for a knife, which I wouldn't do, but giving somebody six grand for a knife, they're like, eh, I'd rather have the knife because it's so hard to get. So you got to have something they don't have and something of value that they might want in order for them to come off what they, you know, what they have to get what you have. So anyway, so I, that's what I was running across. So I got the Marsh and once I got the Marsh, it was like everybody was coming out of the woodworks now because they were willing to, they already had Walter Randolph knives, but they didn't have a mini Vanquish in all uh, Timascus or Mocha I think is what it was. So... I had people coming out everywhere going, man, that knife, I love it, blah, blah, blah. I pay, they wanted to buy it for me for, I mean, literally upwards of $6,000. And I just didn't want to do it because that's not the reason I got it. I got it to catapult me to grab someone else's Walter Randolph. Well, 
I put out some feelers to some friends of mine in the in the community. Um, it, it was on the forums. Everybody knew what I was trying to find, and I had someone contact me that was really really wanted that marsh. And funny thing is, is he had a Walter Randolph that he had just had made that Walter said at up until this point was his best piece yet. And he was willing to trade me for this and I would I gladly accept it. It was everything that I was trying to do and I have scored it with this. So enough of my yap and I just wanted to give you the story behind it. Comes in a cool bills case. So let's open this thing up and I'll let you take a look. So what we have here is a Typhon, the same thing as I had with, uh, with copper. This one is in black Timascus with full zirconium scales, zirconium pivot collar, and I've heard some people say, uh, really high-end makers, I'm going to wipe this down, really high-end makers that say, Walter Randolph puts a polished on zirconium like nothing they've ever seen. I mean, you can literally see the camera me. And it is freaking ridiculous, this knife. I like a flashier knife, and this damn sure is that. Going around to the backspacer. I was bummed to get rid of my Typhon because it had that floating backspacer in copper. Well, this one's a floating backspacer in black Timascus. And I love the black Timascus because it cre it's zirconium and Timascus I think is what it is. Or maybe some other metals mixed in, but the the Timascus just shows so cool. And I'll pull out my uh, Shear Groff in a minute and we'll compare those so that you can see the difference between black Timascus and the regular Timascus. Alright, so going to the other side. An awesome same pocket clip that was on the Typhon before with the standoffs right here. But in the black Timascus, the zirconium scales. Same thing on this side. So this is a full liner lock with the zirconium pivot collar again. These colors are just unbelievable. It's hard to even... It's a lot more purple than what I think that you guys are seeing. Lots of blues, lots of purples, and then obviously that darkish gray color inside the middle where the zirconium is. So now on to the blade. This is a full damasteel blade. Just I'm not certain of what the pattern is on this. You guys might know that better than I do, but it's very swirly. And I, I'm I'm not even certain who made it. Probably Chad Nichols, but I don't know that for sure. There's Walter's uh, maker's mark there. This thing is crazy. And flip it around to the other side. It's IKBS. Very, very smooth. Jimping on the flipper tab. I posted this, showed this on Instagram, and um, a lot of you guys were like, already asking me to make a video. They're like, video tonight! You didn't have to worry about that, guys. This was definitely happening video was definitely going to go on. So you can just see the pattern in this Damascus. Sorry, I'm trying to get it to focus down right. But, I mean, just, I can't tell you how stoked I am to have grabbed this. This is everything I could have ever wanted in a Walter Randolph, in any knife, and especially my favorite maker, the Walter Randolph. So, you know, we all talk about the word grail. For me, this is exactly what that means. This is everything I could have ever wanted in a knife. And it's heavy as hell. I mean, I don't have a scale, but this thing is so heavy, I can't even, I can't tell you. And I love it. I love the fact that it's real heavy. 
fires out just awesome. Lock up is early, real early, probably, God, 10% maybe, somewhere around there. It's very early. But remember I told you in the other video, everything's so rounded, so smooth. There isn't a sharp, there isn't, I mean, I, I, can't, I just can't explain it. It is so well done. He's just a freaking master. And it's perfect. I mean, I act like I'm talking about one of my children here. I mean, one thing about it is, is it is slippery. Um, but, like, even the seams here, I mean, it's... I can't tell you how perfect that is. You can't, I mean, you can't feel a single thing. It's, it's, I just don't get it. I don't understand how this is even done to this type of perfection. The zirconium is absolutely just phenomenally polished. And I know I've showed you guys this probably three or four times, but I just can't put the knife down. So, and like I say, it's going to show prints. It's, you know, it's shiny material and it's going to show prints and it's going to show scratches and I really don't care because I freaking love it. So, anyway guys, that's uh literally my grail of all grails. The Walter Randolph Typhon. So, let's do this. Let's uh set that down. And I want to show you guys the difference in the Tymascus on this from my uh, Shirogorov. So just to give you guys a look as to what, and this is obviously dirty. I've, I've carried this and it's not very uh, polished, but see the, the this is full Tymascus and it doesn't have zirconium in it. So zirconium, now it's heat treated probably a little bit different to get more brightness and then polished a little bit higher too. So I'll give some credit to Walter for that, but you know, the, the certain spots there that are white on this Timascus, which is white Timascus, is dark on the Typhon. So this is black or, or dark gray, whereas this is white. So it gives it a different look. Um, not too much different from that side. But when you're looking at the the bolsters or the clip, which is probably a more represented uh, part of the knife and I love both I mean they're both incredible but this just shows you how it's a little bit uh, a little bit darker a little more depth that sort of thing so anyway guys we're on 13 minutes for one knife and uh, again I'll, I'll tell you I, I am like on cloud nine and I'm super excited to have it don't ask me for it because <laughs> there's probably nothing that you've got or anyway I'm trying to zoom in a little bit or anybody else has got that that can take this away from me so um, now I'm going to the gathering out in Vegas at the end of August and I can't see myself going without this knife but I'm petrified to put this thing on an airplane so I'll probably have to ship it overnight um, to the hotel it's probably going to cost me an arm and a leg, but that's the only way I'm going to feel good about it. But I hate to even, I really hate to even do that because I don't, if it got lost, I would fall to pieces. So anyway, guys, uh, you'll be seeing a lot of this one on Instagram. So anyway, thanks for checking it out, guys. I do appreciate all your support on my Instagram and my YouTube channel, which I think is over 2,100 subscribers now, which is just crazy. So I'm probably going to be doing some type of giveaway uh, in the upcoming months. So I figure it's about time. So anyway, guys, thanks so much for all your support, and I will talk with you soon. Take care.